Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle. And I have a little bit of an idea here that I hope you guys enjoy. This is Patrick Moore and of course Chris Bumstead. Chris Bumstead is the Classic Physique Division Champion. He is the champion. He won the Classic Physique Olympia this year, 2019. Placed second last year. Anyway, Patrick Moore is the toast of the town. He is the talk of the bodybuilding world. He did so well. He was a nobody. He came out of nowhere, and he did so well at the Olympia. He should have even placed higher, but he got a 10th place finish, and that is as good as good for Patrick Moore. But I was thinking he has a leaner physique. You know what I mean? He may not get the credit he deserves. He has a what you could call a classical physique. And let's face it, with the there was a price drop at the Olympia for the, the purse money. Sixth place didn't even get any money. Fifth place was down to forty thousand and then last year was forty five. And this is in the open class. But the classic physique has bumped up. Chris Bumstead won thirty thousand this year for the first place as opposed to last year, which was twenty thousand. So those purses have increased. But enough about that. Let's do a little comparison with these two. And right from the get-go, I will say, if this were to be a classical physique matchup, then, of course, Patrick Moore would have to lose some weight. He'd have to cut into some of that muscle. So right from the shoot, it's a little unfair and definitely a little unclear of who would win the classic matchup. But right from the shoot, in a open class matchup, of course, Patrick Moore has the muscle. He is just that much bigger in the arms and legs. But in the classical physique division, I mean, Moore, he really, he has the vacuum. I appreciate that. But he needs to maybe tilt one of his legs, perhaps, like what Bumstead is doing with his legs. He's, he's looking a little classical, you know, and you need that little extra aesthetics and keep in mind, he would be a little bit leaner. So it would be a one heck of a matchup in the classic physique division. Here in the front lat spread, and I must say, Patrick Moore looks absolutely classical. He would win this in a classic physique division matchup. Keep in mind, his legs would be much smaller, perhaps his arms as well. But wow. Bumstead, he just looks like a work of art. Don't get me wrong. Look how ripped he is in those legs. Unbelievable conditioning. And that waistline, very tiny. But having said that, Patrick Moore looks absolutely stunning. What a matchup these two would make. And like I said earlier, if Patrick Moore were to go to the Classic Physique Division and win... It would be a pay increase for him from the side. And both men just look absolutely perfect as far as the classic physique division. It just, the, the both of these guys reek of classic. One thing I must ding Michael Moore, or Patrick Moore, Michael Moore, the boxer. Anyway, Patrick Moore, he has tattoos. And let's face it. When it comes down to tattoos versus no tattoos, and everything's equal, which it isn't here. Patrick Moore looks fantastic. He looks a little bit better. But when all things are equal, no tattoos wins. Of course, Bumstead has a huge forearm tattoo. But we don't need to get into tattoos. There's another, another factor to play here, and it is the face, the head. Both of these men with a very classical mug, so to speak. I mean, who else do you got? George Peterson? He does not have a classical physique or a classical head. It is really shots like this, poses like this, that make me think Patrick Moore would be perfect for the classic physique division. This side tricep, look how he is tilted. His waistline is virtually invisible. It is so tiny. It's smaller than Bumstead's, unbelievably. And man, he, even if he did lose some pounds, I mean, the shape would still be there. I think he could win the classic physique division. 30 grand in the pocket, Patrick, come on. In the back comparisons, 
you have to think now, Patrick would be a law leaner. So he would really have to bring those traps out to compete with my soul, Bumstead. Look at those traps on this man. What a back development. I mean, yes, it is petite, but that is what the classic physique division is all about, is smaller proportions and just more of a perfect physique. Now, in the rear double bicep, Bumstead's pose, it just really doesn't scream classic to me. It's not that aesthetic. He needs to bring those peaks of those biceps up, I think. I think that would really help. Perhaps a little bit more thickness in the lats would help. Patrick Moore's rear double by is not exactly what I would call aesthetic either. I remember Arnold Schwarzenegger's rear double by. Look at those peaks. Now that to me is aesthetic with that nice little Christmas tree. Something like that would be right on the money for a rear double by for this division. One thing is for sure. Patrick Moore, if he did choose to go into the classic physique division, he would really need to tweak all of his poses and add a classical flair to them because this version here just does not reek classic. And Bumstead's is not the best either. But anyway, this ab and thigh shot, this is a classical pose. And I have to be a little bit nitpicky here, and I know this is going to sound a little bit cruel. But I believe Patrick's legs are a little bit too large to look quite perfect. I mean, look at Bumstead. Wow, unreal. Look how ripped those thighs are. I would definitely give him the, the nod, the token in this for a classic physique division matchup. So what do you guys think? I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on this. Do you think Patrick Moore should go over and switch to the classic physique division and perhaps take home 30 grand? Or do you think he's good right where he's at and perhaps climb the ranks in the open division? Of course, he'd have to place fifth the way things are going to, to get any type of money at all coming in. But either way, Bumstead is definitely... Good where he's at, at the Classic Physique Division. He is an awesome champion. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a different comparison. Click like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button as well. If you didn't already, thank you if you did, by the way. Look forward to the next video. Have a great day.